Okay, you ready? So why don't you line up? Now nah, you're going to be good. Yeah, you can stand, actually. You don't have to sit. It's better if you don't sit. Okay, so here's what's going to happen, man. We are going to... I'm going to bring them out one at a time to talk about skin. In your skin and in their culture, like who really has the ideal skin? Okay, are we cool with that? It's not about your face. It's not about whatever, anything like that we're going to go with. All right, man, let's go with the first. How about if we go with the Swedish, right? Let's go with the Swedish one. Okay. Listen, here you go. So take a look at these guys here. In your culture, mm -hmm. think about Sweden. And you can go with Scandinavian in general. It doesn't just have to be squeezing. Who has the ideal skin? Not for you. Uh -huh. Who has the ideal skin? Like the person Probably if you brought that them guy. Home. This yes. guy? Yeah. What makes his skin I so so Toth, Toth the auto Toth the auto body guy? Mm -hmm. What makes his skin ideal? He has a lighter skin, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then what is that what does that say about him? I don't know. Like, he could be Swedish, I guess. Yeah. So, but, so in your culture, mm -hmm. like really, if the difference between this guy and this guy, nothing about their personalities, no, no, nothing about the politics of it, just in your culture. Mm -hmm. So what about the, po is there anything about politics that we should know about skin in your culture in Northern Europe? You know, it's just like, what, what are the issues? What are the conversations? What are the debates that you all have? Yeah, there are a lot of issues, like politics, mm -hmm. about racism and stuff. So what, what's considered racism in Sweden? Like everything that's considered racism here, but like, we don't have so much black people, so it's not like towards black people, more like towards Muslims and... Yeah. yeah. So listen, so come stand, stand down here. So let's say that these guys had the same, they were the exact same person, okay? Uh -huh. So he was him. What's your name, bro? Rana. Rana? Rana? Rana. Rana? Yeah, you Rana. Rana. Okay, so Rana. What's your name? George. George? Mm -hmm. So let's say Rana was George. <laughs> All right? And uh, would you... How noticeable would their skin tone be? Like if you brought if you brought George home, but he had this this tone of skin, like would people talk about it? Would they notice? Would they talk about it? I guess I don't know. Like it's not that similar. Yeah, in the U.S., we wouldn't. I don't think we'd notice a difference really here. Yeah. But I'm just wondering about Sweden. Yeah, might be the same. Probably. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Do you, uh, how many dudes like, what's your name, bro? Tevin. Tevin? Yeah. How many Tevins are there in Sweden, by the way? <laughs> yeah, not many. No. Yeah, okay. All right, hang tight. You can, you can stand over here. Okay, you ready? So you're American. African-American? Yeah. Okay, what's Jamaican. your name? Jamaican, what's your name? Toya. Toya? Okay, in your culture, who's got the most preferable skin? In my culture? Yeah. Let's go with, are you, so you spend time in Jamaica? Your parents are Jamaican? Mm -hmm, but I haven't been back. Yet. You haven't been back? Okay, so the, go with the U.S. then. Because the she, she's not from the U.S., so she didn't respond to the U.S. Yeah, in the U.S. Who's got the most preferable skin in your culture, in your world? Well, just in the U.S., like, the two white boys. Okay. And what is it about that? That's just how the world how about in the Okay, how about in the black community in the U.S.? Who's got the preferable skin? Between those two, it would be the lighter one, because I feel like the black community is, like, biased in a way. Not everybody, but... Not you and not your yeah, friends, just, of course. That's how it is. Because no one in this room is racist and any of that stuff, right? Yeah. So, so this guy, yeah. you would say, uh-huh. His name's August. Uh-huh. So you feel like he would be... Pre what is it that leads him to be preferenced? 
I feel like the black community, like they like to look at like lighter people and there's like some sort of bias in the black what, community. What does lighter mean in the black community? People just feel like, oh, like she's prettier or he's like cuter because they're light skin. So it's prettier and cuter, lighter skin. So he's just automatically more handsome because he has lighter skin than he to does? To some people. To some people, right, yeah. exactly. But that's the argument, by, that's the yeah. debate in some people. Uh-huh, huh. And that's not the case in Nigeria? Wait, hang on. There's skin bleaching. Yeah, I got you. Why do people bleach their skin? Like, what's that about in Nigeria? They might not be comfortable with how their skin looks. Okay, so in other words, this dude... Te Tevin? Say Julian. That's my last name. Julian? Julian? So Julian here would be more likely to bleach his skin so he'd look like August here. Yeah. All right, man. You ready? Dude, we're going to go with you. Okay, so you were Chinese, yeah? Okay, hang on, come over here. What? Come up here, right here. What's your name? Siki. Siki? Yes. Okay, in your culture, who has the ideal skin? <laughs> ideal skin? Yep. Like, probably this guy, the, the tall guy with the wet shirt. The tall guy, what is it about his skin? It's pale. <laughs> Pale? Yes. What does that mean? It means it's desirable in our culture. It's what? It's desirable. Desirable? By most what, people. What like, makes it desirable? <laughs> um, because I, I'm not really sure, honestly. Well, what, so what did you learn? Um, like from, from my culture, like my friends and my family are always telling me like, if you look like wider, you're like more, I don't know, like beautiful. More beautiful? Okay, like, do you notice it? What's your name, bro? Carlos. 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 Do you, how much of a difference do you notice between these two guys? Um, um, this guy's paler than this guy. <laughs> so would and, that be noticed in your culture? Um, not that much because yeah. they're both like pretty. They're both pretty white. white. Yes. But this guy, but people, but if they were standing next to each, they, but he would be still pre the whiter the better. Um, I think it's mostly for girls. Like, for girls. Yeah. For guys, it's not so much. Not not that mm -hmm. much. So Hannah, right? Do you even notice the difference between these two guys? Like really, if you just look at them really fast. No? Yeah, no? Yeah, I don't either. I, I mean, you know. Well, I, no, I do, actually. I can't. Okay, all right, hang on. Stand over here, hang on. So, white pale is good. All right, man, ready? Yep. Oh, you're going to go last. Okay, so you, where, are you, where are you from? Egypt. Egypt? Okay, yeah. here you go. You. Take the mic. What's your name? Nada. Nada? Yeah. N-A-D-A? -A? Yeah. Okay. So in your culture, which of these five guys has the ideal skin? Like just tell, like color-wise? Okay, yeah, or... just color-wise, yep. Probably him on the end. Him on the end? Yeah. What makes his skin ideal? I mean, it's like not too dark. Oh, wait, it's not too dark and like he's also not that light. So and he's if it like was... in the middle. Like he's kind of like the same color as me. Yeah? yeah. So your color is... But I, I, was at, I was on spring break, so I'm not this color. So you're a little darker. <laughs> yeah. I'm lighter. Okay, normally you're yeah. right. So this guy, what would he... I mean... Dude, th we're not talking... This isn't you and your friends yeah. and so on. No, I know. Because yeah. we're all enlightened in here. Um, <laughs> it's just what would be said about him compared to the guy in the end? I mean, like, usually in Egypt... Like, I'm, like... I was born there, but, like, I came over when I was a year old, so... But we, like, go often. Um, but, like, usually, like, darker... There's not a lot of really darker-skinned people there. Mm -hmm. So, like, they're kind of, like... Not out of the ordinary, but still, like... Mm -hmm. Not what you would usually see. Mm -hmm. so Even like, in the poor community? Poor Egyptians? I mean, I can't really speak to that because I don't, I'm, I haven't been to a lot of the poor communities. Okay, all right. And do you see, do you really notice the difference between these two guys or yeah. not? You do? do? Yeah. So that's noticeable. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and this guy? Well, yeah. What, what about him? Well, how would he be seen? I mean, I mean, like, he's like... Well, to me, like, he is obviously, like, Hispanic, so, like, he, 
I mean, like, he would just be, like, seen as, like, he's, like, out of place there. He would be out of place. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the guy on the end. All right, Mom. Thank you. Have it, hey, stand here for a second. All right, white American woman. <laughs> you are on. Um, take that. All right, in your world, what you see, not you and not your family, okay? okay. Or my friends. And not your friends, because none of them are, you know, they're all really cool and hip, <laughs> and we got that. Who's, but in your, like, think about your cultural milieu of okay. people who you represent. Who's got the best skin? You can stand over here, too. Who has the ideal skin? When you say people who I represent, you mean white people? Yeah, white people. Okay. And we're talking, you know. <laughs> and the question is, who has the best skin? Yep. Who has the like, ideal skin? Like most that you would want to have or like, I don't know, nice Skin you'd want to have or you'd want to bring home. You know, like if you were, were, pick, were, were dating someone and you brought them home to your parents and like you'd have different conversations about each one of their skin. <laughs> Imagine they were the exact same person. They looked the same, but you'd have different conversations about their skin. Who would have the ideal skin? And this is not for me, personally? No, not for you. Okay. I mean, because I would probably give a different answer than... No, no, no. Give me the average. <laughs> um, um, and... Wait, hang on. We're going to get your answer, too. But Okay, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I mean, there's a lot of white racist people. So, no, uh, no. Okay. It's not about racism even. Just who has the ideal skin? I guess that they would want to have, I would say you. This guy? Yeah. Why not him? Because, um, I don't know, generally a lot of, like, uh, there's a lot of white people, at least in the United States, who prefer not to be, like, I guess, as pale which uh -huh. is not by any means like any kind of insult. Like everyone no, I picked him because he was pale, right? Great. No, because I, <laughs> I looked at his shirt, you know, because you're really light. So. Sure. Okay, so, you'd, so this guy would be more preferable. Yes. Uh huh. For white people in general. For white people in general. Okay. Sure. How many black people you think would go into it, black Americans you think would go into a sperm bank and say, I want the darkest sperm donor you could possibly find? I want them so dark their skin isn't even black, it's blue, right? How many people would go into a sperm bank and say that? Yeah, I'm not sure how many would say that. I think probably anyone want, hang on a second, hang on. How many black people, you, black Americans do you think would go into a sperm bank and say, I want the darkest sperm donor you could possibly find? Probably not many. Probably not many. Yeah, why do you think that is? I guess people just like face like a lot of hatred, I guess, like from having like dark skin, like growing up, like being a child, like people always like kind of make fun so, of you. So, so somehow associating yeah. negative skin with yeah. really, so I guess like maybe you wouldn't want that for your child. I guess. Yeah. Yep. Dude, do you have a comment on that? How many black Americans would go into a sperm bank? Do you think as a Haitian, right? Would go into a sperm bank saying, give me the, I want sperm from the darkest man you could possibly find. Damn, uh, not that many. Like for the dark, like looking for yeah. exactly for the darkest. Yeah, not that many. Why? What, what is? I, what would be behind that? I think that, like, like if you go to Haiti, there's like a lot of different color, like light skin, yeah. dark skin, yeah. all that, medium skin. And I feel so they would go on that spectrum with like the light skin with the dark skin. It wouldn't yeah. necessarily matter if that person has to be the darkest skin, but it would be on the spectrum of like. Color. Yeah, got it. Did you have anything to add to that? I just feel like we should have an actual light-skinned black person up here. Cause what, what's that? I think an actual light-skinned black person is like what most people would choose. Is like yeah. Most black people want to just make their choice. Dude, go, like, go find me somebody real fast. You guys go find looking, me somebody. No, wait, go, go find me somebody. I mean, oh, this oh, mixed girl right here, she's mixed, obviously, but like that's wait, like one. Who's that? That's chick right here on the side. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. her? Yeah, I mean, like something more like that is like you really something more like that Dude, is like. Hang on, can you come here a second? Like, oh yeah, all right, here we go. I was I was trying to not I was trying to choose all guys, so. All right, what what what's your name? Heaven. What is it? Heaven. Heather. Heaven. Heaven. Oh shit, Heaven from day one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 
so what is it about hang on hold on hold on what is it about heaven um i don't know i think it's just so like my grandparents three of the four of them are like dark skin black and uh my grandmother's like mostly white but she's like grew up in the black community she's like a little bit black and uh her husband is really dark and my grandmother's whole family never really like liked my grandfather because he was really dark and they were like the light skin black. Like they didn't people. like him just because he was dark? I mean, yeah, basically. Yeah. They weren't really a fan of his family. Um, yeah, like my grandmother's like even lighter than her. Uh, so, what is it about heaven? I mean, I can't tell you like why it exists, but it's just a thing. Like people so, like. So, okay, no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. I mean, people just like the lighter spectrum. Like black people don't want to, they don't want you to be white, but they want you to be like as light as you can be and still look black, I feel like. <laughs> 